Well, I've seen tougher conditions. I just can't remember when. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Lay Update for Tuesday, the 7th of June. And these markets are virtually impossible to trade right now. There is no range. There is no volume. And overall, there is no real interest. And I think this is something that you have to recognize if you're trying to be an active trader, that some days are just not worth trading. And I think this is one of them. Uh, again, we I have positions, obviously, in our in our longer-term models. Uh, but from a day trading standpoint, we tried to trade this morning. We had two losers, two trades, two small losers. But again, it doesn't matter if they're small or big. The fact is, is that the opportunities don't exist when you're watching eight markets for an hour and you get two total trades. So in the meantime, uh, again, my opinion and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the day off after this and do other things. Uh, but in the meantime, the markets are under a little bit of pressure today. Dow's down 200. Uh, Nasdaq's down 85, S&P down 23, Nasdaq, Russell flat. They were lower and they were higher, but they were they were much lower. They've come back. In the meantime, we are flat. Excuse me, we're long, all of them, my, my mistake. Uh, crude oil, higher, not a surprise. I mean, I think it's going much higher. We're still long, and you can thank your, your president for that. Uh, and again, that also puts... Uh, uh, you know, net gas, uh, net gas is up at about 940, just keeps going up. You know, we're not going down because they refuse to help us out. They want to make sure that they bust out America. Uh, in the meantime, uh, bonds are, are a higher, bonds and notes. We are long, excuse me, apologies. We short, we reversed those this morning to short bonds and notes. Now, again, I think they're going much lower and I don't mind being short. And I don't mind them going against me a little bit here. Uh, but, uh, uh, gold has had a sudden reversal move up. We're still short gold and silver. I don't know if that was more of a dead cat bounce. You know, it's right around the 1850 level, which is a level we're watching anyways. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I mean, obviously, this isn't going to trigger any reversal, but it certainly was a, a quick, sharp move, you know, somewhere around, you know, 845, about nine o'clock this morning. So we'll see what happens from there. Uh, and uh, in the, the, the dollar is, is is higher and we're short. Uh, Bitcoin is getting cracked again. We're still short. Uh, copper is lower and we're long. Uh, in the uh, in the grain markets, you've got uh, corn higher. We're short. Wheat flat. We're long and wheat giving back half of yesterday's gains. And we're still short wheat. In the uh, in the protein complex, uh, they're kind of mixed. Fats are lower. Feeders are slightly higher. See the other way around. Feeders are lower. Fats are slightly higher. And hogs are lower again. And again, they're just kind of churning. There's not really any movement. This is one of the biggest problems. There's, there's not really much price movement in these markets, period. And that's, that's what makes it more of a concern. Uh, in the softs, cotton is lower. We're short. Sugar is, is lower. We're long. Uh, OJ is higher and we're long. Coffee is lower. We're long. And cocoa is lower and we're short. It's it's really it, again it's, it's very challenging, very tough conditions. It is my opinion. If you're a day trader, not to trade. And again, you do what you do as you wish. I'm just giving you my opinion and my view. And after 44 years, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I used to do when I was on the trading floor and go play golf. In the meantime, check across the bottom or on the side. You can see our sponsors, Capital Trading Group, Trader Brokerage, and of course our high school program. In the meantime, have a great day. And if you're going to trade, just keep your powder dry and, and don't get caught up and figure out a way to lose more than the actual range of the market. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Update.